Hey guys, it's your girl Lean, and you're watching Sunkissed Somewhere. So for today's video, I am doing my London room tour and I'm super excited for this because it is the first time living alone. So I thought I would document it and remember it for the rest of my life. Also, I just want to share it to you guys. So if ever you find yourself in London for an internship or like a study abroad course, you can consider the curve for your accommodation because it's amazing, it's safe, it's practical, it's it made my stay in London a lot better than it would have been, you know. So let's begin. Okay, so when you enter my room, you will see my bed by the window, a spacious strip that I use as a yoga station slash exercise area. To the left is my workstation and shelves, to the right is my closet, and the door to my bathroom. Okay, so first let me spin you over to the left where you can see all of the junk that I have. So in my first cube, I basically dump all the receipts, flyers, and magazines that I've accumulated throughout my stay. Even though it's really cluttered, I find it really helpful as well. Okay, so on the second cube, there are the sunglasses that I've brought from Manila and some that I've bought here. I try to wear a different pair every day because I just love them so much. And then finally in the third cube, I have all of my makeup separated according to their usefulness. The ones in the white bucket are the most used, so it's really easy for me to just get all the stuff that I need in the morning before I go to class. Okay, so up next in my workstation is a TV that I use mostly for background noise or music. I'm clueless on British TV, so I don't really bother. And then I have my stack of notebooks and stationery for school because I do love writing. The white envelope over there is where I store all of my school documents and homework. I also have a one pound copy of Sex and the City just in case. Okay, so this is where I usually edit my videos and do homework. I always have that pretentious glass over there so you can feel very professional while doing stuff. My favorite faux suede French cape is hanging by the chair, but sometimes it's my pink robe from my not a tutorial videos. I also hide my shoes in this corner so they don't take up space or dirtify my closet. Yes. Okay, and in the corner of my workstation and my bed is a little space where I have my prayer book and my eye mask. It also has a light nice lamp for reading or for scaring away monsters. Okay, so my bed has a huge storage space underneath that I didn't discover early on. So my suitcases are there for like decoration, kind of. Um, also, I have my cooking mittens over there. How's it hanging? How's it hanging? Okay, anyway, my bed is really comfy and I like to sleep with my head by the window. So when I wake up, I get blinded by the sun. Ah, such a nice view. Okay, if I spin you around, you will see the kitchen that I just adore. So it has plenty of storage space for all of my groceries and cooking stuff, which I don't always use, but whatever. It comes in handy. There's a microwave for lazy days. Hello! Okay, on the counter, I have a very tiny sink that works quite well for me because it forces me to clay go slash clean as you go. <laughs> I also have a rice cooker that I borrowed from my tita. And then, there you go. There, those are my clean dishes. Save for the moment, it's almost never like that. <laughs> okay, and here is my electric stove. Quite a great thing for a person like me, actually. I'm safe from accidents and fire, so I feel great experimenting on cooking comes with an extractor so my room does not feel like a kitchen ever. And then of course I have a mini fridge that is packed with yogurt. That's all you need to know. Okay, so that little thing right there is the radiator that I use during cold mornings, but it's the summer so that is very rare. The room is also equipped with fire emergency equipment, so plus points for the curve. They take fire very seriously. <laughs> oh my gosh, like don't get me started on the fire doors. They're actually a thing here in England. I don't know why. Okay, so let me bring you to my closet slash 
full-size mirror where I am obviously being pabebe. Please don't mind me. Okay, so here's my closet. I brought everything from Manila, so now I'm trying to figure out how to bring everything home. On the top shelf, I have my blanket, capes, and jackets. On the middle, top skirts and light clothing. And then of course, here I have my dresses, jeans, and other hangables. Yep, that's the word, hangables. Okay, lastly, let me show you the bathroom. Whoops, it's dark. Okay, let there be light. And there was light. Okay, over to the right, I have my toiletries, my toilet, obviously, and then wipes because they don't have freaking babo in here. My headbands and scarves are happily draped in that thing, don't ask me why. By the sink is my makeshift babo, clay mask, and hand soap. Okay, hashtag babebe. And finally, here is my shower. I have my toothbrush, paste, and facial wash all in there because I like to be 99.9% .9 clean after taking a bath. So my teeth and face have to be included when I take a bath. Ha ha ha. It also has a built-in heater which took me forever to master it but I did after a while at least. And yes, that's it. That is it for my bathroom and my room. You can leave now. Bye! <laughs> Okay, so that was my London room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to subscribe below so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Give this video a thumbs up. And, of course, connect with me on social media. Have a great day, you guys. Stay confident. Bye!